What's up YouTube? Una here to bring you another OPTC video and today we are going to do the summertime Robin event. Uh, I've had a couple people report that it was difficult. Uh, I, I have not done Tom or this before so uh, I chose foolishly chose Tom first and it was like ridiculously easy so I guess I should have started with this to help you guys out. So I'll, I'll start with saying that the easiest way to run this is probably just double Mihawk. Uh, if you have the coffin bow, right, that the extra health really helps, and you definitely need that damage. And Slash is going to do tons of damage. You're going to want Mister Three, uh, Sir Crocodile, and you're going to be able to, to just really just rip through this. Uh, what you what you need to look at for specials is you need something in the nine to ten range to handle stage four, and then you'll be able to use it again on stage seven. So what I mean with something to handle that can either be a Mister Three to to del delay everyone on stage four. Or uh, Vista sometimes helps out too, because it's random what happens on number four. Sometimes you can get high defense units, and Vista will wipe all those out so you can focus on Robin. Um, th that's really what you need to be looking at for specials. If you need super duper help, you can actually bring both a Mr. Three and an Usopp, and you will be absolutely fine, especially with a Coffin Boat. It's not going to be a problem. What I'm showing you here is what, uh, what I am running, um, which is a double Moria combo. So, uh, since I do have a max Mr. Three, uh, with you know a nine turn cooldown, um, that's what allows me to really get away with this team. But I'll have uh, I'll basically need Alkaji for the final stage. Uh, well, I guess you don't technically need him, but he's useful. I guess I have Robin too. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is just see. So you see my Mister Three's on a three turn cooldown. Uh, this this unit despairs you for two rounds, and she goes on a four turn cooldown. So you might as well just kind of take your stalls there. Um, but since you leave that from a, uh, a three turn cooldown. You can actually just blow through this stage here without without any stalling whatsoever. Um, and then due to the preemptive on stage um, 4, Mr. 3 will be ready. And then you can rock Mr. 3, take it out, and then just stall long enough for uh, Mr. 3 to come back on the final stage, and that's it. Like, there's no preemptives that do damage, really. I mean, taking one hit point actually doesn't deactivate Moria's uh, captain ability. As long as you have 99% of your health... Um, you're fine, so you can take up to 157 uh, hit points with my team here, and you'll be fine. Um, here's where if you had um, uh, your Vista special ready, you could rock that and take out all of these units, all these, these subunits, so I wouldn't have had to waste a turn killing them. Uh, but unfortunately, my Vista is only like, I don't know, 13, 14 cooldown, something like that, it's not ready. But since I do have Mr. 3, that's that's who takes care of it. Vista's just here for a beat stick. Alkaji here is for a special. Uh, I do like the Moria Orb change just in case for the Alkaji round. And that's all you need to beat this. It's going to be super easy. Um, and let's talk about why. So I did talk about this in a video I have on on the, the mouth gate, I think, the first time we saw Moria, where a lot of players were thinking like, oh my god, this is hard, I need to go to double Vista, which is the wrong way to go. So to touch on that again, when units have defense, you need to go with offense, right? You don't need to go with defense. So let's say with, with a slasher team with a 2.5 versus a double Vista versus a 2x, Slasher team's going to do 10 hit points of damage, and uh, the Vista team's going to do 5 hit points of damage. Well, if that enemy has, let's say, 4 defense, you're only doing 1 damage with the double Vista, and you're doing 6 with, with the Slasher. So if you go with a 3x lead instead of Mihawk, and let's say you're doing 20, 20 minus 4, you're actually doing 16 damage. So you can see the more damage you do against a high defense unit, the better it is. I am spacing out here. I forgot to... Oh, I really screwed up that last round of stalling. Um, auto target for some reason went after those evolvers, which is really, really frustrating, but that's okay. Um, I can still take out these three units in the back. Uh, I'll just use one Moria here to kind of flip all the orbs. But normally, uh, I would have stalled one more round, and then I could have activated Alkaji, Moria, and I would have wiped this whole board clean just in one turn. Um, I could I could have looked like a superhero, but instead, uh, we'll just we'll, we'll take this turn to uh, take out these units here. Actually, I don't know if I can do it in one round. These actually units do uh, have a lot of health, but uh, definitely in two rounds here. So here's where your, our second round of Alkaji Burst would have helped came in handy. Um, I do have um, Robin, but you know, just remember that that uh, another thing that Robin does is she gives you a little orb boost. So like your uh, Do Flamingo, your Calgar, they don't do anything because she gives you such a, a weak orb boost that it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't help you at all. So that's why you have to go with the attack boosters like Alkaji and, and Nico, or, and, uh, yeah, Nico Robin version one. Um, using Robin on Robin, that ooh, that's not cool. So, uh, and that's pretty much it. Now, guys, your strikers should be more than enough to take out uh, 
Robin here in, in those turns. So, really easy Fortnite, guys. You just got to remember your team build. When you have these high defense units, you've got to go for offense. Since there's no preemptives, if you've got Moria, he's the way to go. Um, if not, you can obviously do G3 slashers. Uh, you, you just have to have the right team build, and this Fortnite is totally workable. Uh, so, you know, mess around with your teams, get that damage output, guys. Uh, good luck with your farming. Una out.